Do you hate your brand new truck? Do you want to drill holes all through the body? Well, that's what we're doing on this episode. All right, now to go over some of the things we'll need for this install, we got the NMO mount. This one is by Larson. Nice product. This one is optional depending on your skills. Uh, it's a coax stripper. We got our crimp on connector here. Uh, the crimps with the appropriate dies, some tape, marker, and of course a step bit. Today we're going to be drilling in the body of my brand new 2018 F-150. Install this NMO mount, run the wire through the firewall and into the TYT radio in the cab, which is located close to the handbrake. Now we're going to take this NMO mount, drill a hole through the fender, mount it right here. Figured this was a pretty good location. There's a body mount behind here. We have a rolled edge here. This is nice and solid. So it would be a good location for this NMO mount. Uh, we'll see how it works with the radiation pattern. You know, of course, we have the body here. Uh, but I'll let you know how it goes. All right, so with the hood raised, we can see this is our area. We got a rolled edge on the fender here and here. Looking further into it, you can see the fasteners for the uh, fender there. Rolled edge, nice solid surface. And this area here, a uh, nice big area. Plenty of room to work in and route the wires through the firewall. All right, I got everything marked. Nothing to it but to do it. Here we go. This hurts so much. Oh, this hurts so bad. Getting close, boys. That's it. That's a her. Take this, take this from me. <laughs> All right, now that the painful part is over with, I'm gonna leave this tape on here till we're ready to install the mount. But I did feel a small burr just on the back side here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean that up real quick with this small file. Next step will be to remove some paint from the back here so we definitely get a good ground contact. I'm just gonna take a little sandpaper, scuff up the back side here, make sure we get a good ground contact on the mount. Now that the painful part is over and there's no going back, we'll put some dielectric grease and install this mount. I'm doing this in hopes of uh, avoiding the similar better corrosion and uh, maybe a better connection. All right, I got a little bit of the schmoo on the uh, mount itself, put a drop of Loctite, blue Loctite on these threads, because hopefully this is never coming out again. All right, another thing, there's a little uh, gasket here, a little O-ring to uh, kind of keep things nice. Nice. 
that should settle because there's going to be a little step on those wings. Uh, adjustable? Is it wide enough? It should be exactly wide enough. There without making that uh, O ring bind up. Yeah. Click! <laughs> In the words of AVE, thank you very much. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna route the wires now. I got another video showing you how to penetrate the firewall on this uh, 13 Gen F-150. Uh, check that out, I'll have it linked in the corner, description, or uh, just search for it. Uh, but we're gonna get the, everything routed through the inside. We'll uh, cut the coax, terminate it, plug it into the radio, and go from there. All right, now I got the expert here. He's gonna crimp on my connection there, plug it into radio, and we'll be all finished. While he's working on that, I'll show you where the radio is. It's sitting right behind here, behind this little cover. You can see the fan right there. Focus. And that's where the coax plugs in. So it's a perfect mount. There were holes in the body. Uh, I just drilled holes in the mount that came with the radio. And uh, it's an M8 bolt. I think it's 1.25. Screws right into the side of the body. It's perfect. Center conductor. Center conductor. Shielding. Center conductor is not happy. Try again. Center conductor. No. Before I crimp this, let's get the solder out. So we're just checking continuity on these connectors between here, the plug, and the uh, mount. You want to check this before everything's finalized, otherwise you get a surprise later on. Okay, so the mount is installed, coax wire is ran in this area here, comes out, goes through that boot right there. I have another video showing you how to do that. Check it out, it'll be linked in the description or in a corner or somewhere. All right, here's my radio. Got the uh, connector crimped on. It's uh, tightened up. We'll turn everything on. We'll see how it works. All right, so the radio mounted itself here. It's remoted into this area. Uh, TYT 9800 for the time being. Works really well. Everything fits in here perfectly. Go ahead and fire it up. Everything's done. The install is finished. Just time to program the radio, give it a try. That's what it looks like when it's all done. Got a good mounting location. It's a good idea I get one of these rain caps in case you pull up your antenna, go through a car wash, anything like that. It'll uh, keep any water from seeping through and it'll keep your connector nice and clean.